Minnesota Democrats say they want to go big on education, pitching a record investment in schools for the next two year budget. That bill is up for debate on the House floor. WCCO's Caroline Cummings joins us now to break down what's in it. Caroline. Hi there, Jeff. So we're at that po point of session, the budget writing part of session, where lawmakers are piecing together spending plans that will total $72 billion over the next two years. But the largest slice of that state spending pie is education, and this package from House Democrats has more money and new policies. As you can tell, I'm extremely excited about this bill. House Democrats Thursday cheered a proposal at the Capitol that provides a $2.2 billion boost for schools. We do something transformational. We index that to inflation. And I think you heard that in the governor's speech last night, too, how important this is to make sure our schools can plan for the future. DFO Representative Cheryl U. Joaquim says altogether there's 10% more money to schools. On top of the baseline funding, there's resources for things like special education and English language learning, increasing the number of teachers of color, and even to stock up on Narcan in schools as the opioid epidemic intensifies. Most important thing about this bill is that it reaches every corner of our state and every one of our students in our schools. All the way around. It also requires students to complete civics and personal finance credits before high school graduation and says schools must offer some study of genocide and the Holocaust in social studies curriculum. Ethnic studies would become part of the academic standard. There's also updates to literacy teaching requirements aimed at turning the corner after those skills dropped from pre-pandemic levels. State data show just half of students are proficient at reading. This bill is huge on mandates and huge on bureaucrats. Republicans criticize the plan as stripping schools of local control and say it implements mandates that are burdensome. GOP Representative Peggy Bennett, a teacher for 30 years, said that the literacy changes are a start but fall short. We can't just simply move towards something like a turtle. Our kids can't afford that. We have to make a clear change, and this bill doesn't do that. Now, now, House lawmakers are still debating that bill, and earlier they passed an agriculture budget plan, and later they'll take up spending proposals for child care programs and early childhood programs, too. Jeff. A lot more to go. Thank you, Caroline.